All right, guys. Yeah, you see that? You see that? We are currently on a Air Force base in Sacramento, California. Why? Let me show you. Newer pods? Pods. Newer. Nice. Very nice. Probably got good stuff. But we went with the vintage day one pod. Look at that shadow. It's going to be some great stuff. It's going to be a great day. O-M-G. Mike got a chair because his booty cheeks hurt. And that one. Not one, but two pods. This guy. The pirate. Me. Stalker. That's not Tupac. Tupac's long gone, I think. Tupac. Tupac. Ooh. Hey, it's going down. We paid... It don't matter. It's beautiful. I'll let you know what we paid in a second. But for now, cue music. So this is the plan with these two huge units. Load up, take out of Sacramento, take back to where we're from, which is a short hundred, I mean, not hundred miles, hour and a half drive. But I'm gonna show you guys one box before we even move all this stuff. Is it recorded? We are, we're recording. Came to work prepared. Why are we excited about this box? Because we just found some Dolly paintings inside of there. I'm not sure if they're original. Either way, they're still worth a couple hundred. We found close to what, 15 of them? Something like that, a whole box. A whole box of them, crazy good fun. And what did Mike say? What did you say, Mike? This one pays for the whole unit. This Ooh, one box. More. more. Oh, I like these ones a little more than those ones, Mike. Just because they look a little more older. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. That is a dolly. Whoa, look at that stamp on the bottom. Is that silver or is that a uh, paper? Certificate authenticity. This is to certify that the shadow on the beach is an original work of Salvador Dali. Woo wee. 1977 etched in solid sterling silver issued in a single limited edition by Franklin Mint. Woo! A little loud, gotta be quiet. Don't want the people to come and be like, what's going on there? Wow, imagine what we're gonna get for that when we scrap it for the metal price. <laughs> Just playing. Guys. What's the price? I'll give it to you right now. <laughs> what is that? That's pretty. That's peace. Look, there's something on the back. That's the cardboard. No, this. Christmas. Oh, I think no. it's just to protect it. No, it's. Oh, look. Okay. At, I love how they put the whole history and everything behind their pictures. That's actually him painting this picture. That was in the, the day he painted it. Can you imagine somebody actually took that photo? Wow. Look at that. Come on, be another silver one. So we can each have one. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. No. Maybe. So. What are they doing? I don't know. There's TikTok? three. They're ballet dancers. Oh. Jean. Jensen? Jensen? What is that? It's an ensemble is the name probably. Get it? An ensemble? Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Cut and print. Beautiful, guys. Dino. Ooh. I know this artist. Yeah, who is it? This is the one, the only, you will never see again. Nice. That's Gene Pierre character. The first snow. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. You were right. You knew it. Yeah. I know that artist. I had an art show a while back on my uh, my YouTube channel. What's your channel? Storage stock. Oh, yeah. Come on. One more sterling silver one. That's, That's cute. 30. Eight. 80 of 275, which is not bad. 275 is a good number. There you go. I was going to say it was Montana Majesto, but it was like on the tip of my tongue. A Roman something Aguilar Moore. Whoa. These are these are crazy, Mike. These are crazy. Yeah, because they, they, I mean, so far we're seeing they're at least 250 a piece, right? But I they got have. a thousand bucks for a newer lit a while back. Oh, look it. It's part two of it. 
she got the tail. And exercise. Nice. This is getting good. This is getting really good. Considering we haven't looked in much of anything in this whole unit. Mike, do we even know what we have? We have at least a bunch of $250 and, and repops. Repos. Repost this to Facebook, YouTube, and all the other channels. Well, I'm, I'm going to say they're somewhere around 200 to 250 a piece, but they could be more. We saw one had a best offer of 900 and that sterling Whoa. silver one. Whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's sterling. That's sterling? Isn't it? No. No, that's newer. Right. It might be. Um, Is that actually the people? The Franklin Mint and the Sterling Silver Block, that one was a That's little different. People. So that one could have some money. I mean, that could be a few That's bands. The and that's it. Wow. Right here, you enter in few bands and you just put few bands equals one. You go, Cha thousands. Oh, look, there's more pictures down here, but they're, these are pictures of the family. Should we take those out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and give those back. Uh huh. All right. This right here, after finding that other art, we got super excited because I'm guessing Mike is saying this is a great person. I'm not really that great at art. I know that art could be pricey. Well, I didn't say he was a great person. But the way person, this great one, artist. great artist. The way this one is wrapped up makes me feel like we're about to find the million dollar painting. I don't even feel right opening this dang thing without uh, with a knife. What would you use? My teeth, my fingernails. Like a like beaver? A, yeah, like a beaver. I'm gonna slice open the whole painting. I'm gonna get How about try it? Let's, let's just try it. Try it with your I'm feet. not, yeah, put my mouth on this thing. Well, I probably, probably like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop. Oh, okay. Okay, we got two Can paintings. Two paintings. And they wrapped it real well. Very nice. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that like a real painting or what? Look at that thing. Those are real little pieces on there. That dude looks crazy. I think it's drawing. Signature embossed right here. Embossed and in uh, signature. Look at that, guys. So that is a real Salvador Dali or what? Is that Kramer? It looks From like. Seinfeld? I think he went to the, uh, the crazy home and just started drawing people. This is like the third one we see where the person looks kind of a little out of it. It looks, it almost looks like a hospital robe too. What's wrong with crazy people? I don't know, but what do you think of this painting, Mike? I don't know yet. He does look like he's in a hospital, huh? Did he use real hair? Real hair. That's weird. That's actually a very nice painting, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, my MG. If you know what this is in the comments, I don't know if we can get close enough for you to see it. Let us know if that thing is real. Well, it's real something. The thing is, real the, the thing that's different is see how it has his actual signature right here, and then the, the and then stamp. it's also signed, but it's not a numbered litho. You notice there's no number. What if the stamp was verifying that that is real? Like a certain company stamps it like that to verify it being real. But look how it's not on the painting; it's on the outside of the ring. Well, this is real. Like this, you, you showed this, right? Real. You showed how that's like gold. It's gold drips, yeah, right? Yeah, this, not, this is this is made. This is not like. So either way it goes, that thing is gonna be worth some money. Ooh, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this oh, one. Oh baby, that's the back. Usually, I feel like the back of a painting says a lot. Let me touch about it. a Let piece. See. I'm just vibing with this stuff right now. Whoa, Mike. So I dibs the other one, you dibs this one? Because you no, seem to be really intrigued You can't by this dib a uh, painting because the painting can go... They're the same value. See, look. No, they're not the I same value. I just like the crazy. It reminds me of Okay, my so you mean to tell me that when people go look at paintings, do they say, well, since Picasso made that one and this one, you keep that one and I keep this yeah. one. And someone kept a million they're dollar one. They're similar value because of the size. Size it's not like that. Size like, never, never matter. It's not like times. one is a picture of like the first human. It's something weird. It's like they're, I don't know how to explain it, but they're they are very, they're similar in value. Look at the little guy in the bushes. But I like him though. 
Look at the little trees. Like they, Honestly, this one looks like, like he a didn't do any yard work draw. recently. He didn't know what he was doing. He even put color crayons on there. Mixed well, media. Weird stuff like that Every, is what hit. Yeah, well, it's how artists work. But the thing about Dolly is, remember I told you he used to do a lot of signatures for people? People would pay him like 60 bucks a signature if he would sign art. Um, but the mixed media always helpful. That's all that was in there, guys. Was a lot of people too. don't realize that. Like Picasso, he did work on crayon. He did stuff on all sorts of work. I didn't know Picasso was so, uh, like, didn't die that long ago. 1972. That's, you were born then. In 78. <laughs> Those have to be at least. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna speculate. Hold on, hold on. Let's do like let's do like uh, let's do like uh, storage wars. Okay, ready? Hold on. Oh my God, Dolly Salvador Day. We found one. You know what that means? Calling the experts. Do do do. Now that we're here downtown LA, we're bringing in the expert art to to guard a guy to look at our paintings. Nice piece. You can't even see it. Yeah. Sir, do I tell you how to do your job? <laughs> you called me in here to look at your art and you're telling me. Oh, that, that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're never even that funny. That's funny, right? <laughs> you ain't gonna lick it. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't no more. All bullshit. Oh, excuse my language. All bull crap to the. Alex, side. cut that out. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm leaving it. You can't we, see the We potentially have. You have that um, it's fine. No worries. We potentially have some good money here. What you? We already. You, I already bought you out on this one for 400. What's your estimate on the value on these ones, Alex? Um, I would need 15 grand to walk away. Just playing. I, I learned in this business that it's better. If you have an item that could be worth anywhere from a dollar to twenty thousand dollars, just stick around. It's a gamble, anyways. Stick around. And I will tell you this: that is not unfathomable. Your that random fifteen thousand dollars—that's not impossible. I was going to speculate these are worth a minimum of one thousand each, but they could be fifteen grand right here or more. I don't freaking know because it's not a litho. We we have seen. Some Lithos. other dollies, right? We had the little ones that say Franklin Mint or the collector's deal. We already know those are like 300 oh bucks with gosh. the press. This is his actual signature. This is his actual signature. So he has physically held the piece, even if somebody else made it and it is a litha, but there's no freaking number. It just has it. This reminds me of the time that I sold. Remember I talked about this yes. all the time? I had Jesus you, hanging in the air and, and this huge it. painting with a million nails flying out of the sky. And you sold it. And I thought it said Xavier and my good vice wife. There's no friends anywhere sometimes. Remember this name, guys. That looks like Xavier. If you were to... Would that you, looks like Scribble Ribble. Yeah. I'm going to say, if honestly, if I found this, I would have felt like it was something nice, but not knowing what it was, I would have held on to it. Actually, I probably would have took it to... A art place and had him look at it for me. My good friend who is an art buyer for me never that, bought another piece. Take one of me. these to a uh, to art museum just to record that the stuff and see how it goes. Like Bonhams and no, Butterfields is in San Francisco. The one in Oakland. Clars is like I went to that one and I and I feel re kind of special because I did find a litho a while back. It was a Liberty, uh standing Liberty or something Liberty. It was the Statue of Liberty with a button different different colors. Thought it was nothing. Try to sell at the market for 20 bucks. Dude, try to give me five. And I say, get out of here. I'm not selling for five. Turn around and end up making like a thousand bucks off it. But anyway, I don't know. That might be in well, the future. In, but my guys, opinion, in my opinion, Clars ooh. is where you go when... No offense, Clars, if you're listening, Clars. Because Alex's channel is huge and you might actually watch him. Clars is where you go if you don't know how to use Google. Look at that. Salvador Dollies, guys. And this is what Mike found so far on his channel. Go check it out. These are some extremely nice pieces of art. Extremely nice piece of art. Okay, that was a cardboard box, but that's what the art came in. Let me show you something really quick. And guys, this guy back here, you guys know Mike. Mike finds a lot of stuff, and it takes a lot for this man to get excited. Like, a lot for this man to get excited. And for him to be actually excited about a painting... 
You guys I'm, know. I'm really Ooh. excited about these. Because look at that. I got a halo over my head. Well, here's an example. Look at this. This Ooh. guy's right here. He has million dollar pieces of art. Calder. I think his, uh, I saw one on first dibs for 160 grand. But that's a litho. See how it's numbered 18 of 125, which is still has a four, four digit or higher number still in the thousands these aren't numbers still in the thousands these are signed by one of the most famous artists the most prolific art like you you go to stores and there's books on him and they make cable doilies with the patterns of this is a lot of potential so guess what guys no clickbait involved this could potentially be the best finding pirate stalker or even in the area have found i just don't know salvador dolly paintings found question mark maybe maybe this not is literally when you go to the, the uh, museum in oakland there's a i forget the name off the top of my head but like i was telling you i used to go to art museums a lot you would go there and you would this is you looking at the dolly we're we're in the art gallery right now we're looking at something that he touched and signed like that's this is us in the art gallery no no look at him exaggeration. he's rambling like a little girl because he just found something he likes nice. and guess what that one art that one art this one is art art the front of this 20 foot trailer we filled 24 foot trailer he filled up is packed with art seven feet back oh this is gonna be a crazy series you guys better stay tuned don't forget he's gonna have a lot of it on his channel i'm gonna have a lot of it on my channel Ooh, if you're an art person and you're out there and you know, please drop something in that chat and let us know what we got. But for now, peace out, people. See you guys later. Boom.